Hello everyone. In this session, we'll be discussing how to do data transformation with the data mapper. As you guys know, in any integration, it is quite common to have data transformation requirements. So let's see how you can do that in Valerie. Let's go back to our base code. Go to our service, click on that on view, and go to our social media service. Here you can see there are three resources which we implemented earlier. All those resources are related to users. But for this, we actually need host resource as well. If you have implemented this resource as part of the exercise session, that would be great. Otherwise, you can just get the code for this resource from the GitHub repository branch level one. Okay, so if I click on this, so you can see that we built an array of posts. If the user is not there, we'll be sending this one up front. Or if there's any other error, it will be 500 internal server error. So uh, just to remind you guys, in our case, also any user can have associated posts similar to Twitter. So if I click on this diagram view again, I can see the sequence diagram related to this host resource. So it gets the ID, talk to the database to check whether this user is a valid user. If the user is not a valid user, it sends back user not found, as I said earlier. Yes. It talks to the database again to get the associated post related to the user. And then it sends back the post as an array to the client. OK, so if I send a request to this resource, let's say I, I send this request, the response for that request would be something like this. It has ID, description, text, has a comma separated string and then category and created date. Now let's say for some reason you want to go from this response payload to this response payload. It also has ID description, but additionally it has a section as meta. Under that you have tags, category, and created date. And if you look at tags, now it has a nice array instead of a comma separated string. Okay, so now let's see how we can go from this one to this one. So the first thing we need to do is copy the payload and paste it in our code. Then press Control Shift P, search for ballerina commands, and you can see there's a command called paste JSON as a record. Execute that, and it will convert the JSON into ballerina records. Right, we need create a date, meta, new record item, let's rename it to post, post actually. We don't need this. Instead of saying post, let's say post with meta to be specific. Okay, so that looks good. So now let's create a function to be specific. Let's create an expression body function. Because it's an expression body function, when you create that, it will automatically show this button. So click on that. You can directly go to the data map. So the function name is Q post to post with meta. I don't want to create a record, I'm just going to use the existing record post. This array. Again, this 
use an existing record, the one we just created a moment ago. Again, this array. Let's check that box. Okay. Right, so what we want to do is we want to map post array to post with meta array. So let's connect those two. And straight away, I get an error because because post and post with meta are structurally different. So let's fix that. Let's convert to query and let the query do the bridging for us. Now let's map each item in the array. So we need to map post item to post with meta. So ID to ID is straightforward. Description to description again, straightforward. So in this case, tax goes to tax array inside the meta section. Again, I get a red line because they are structurally different. So let's fix that. There are four tabs, click on this and search for regex. We just want to split the screen. Use the first one, not the second one, because second one is replicated. And search for the function split. Okay, so it automatically goes to the parameters tab. Here you can see the function description and the parameters related to this function. So the first one is a regex parameter. So let's give the regex with the delimiter. And the second one is the input string is post post item x. Okay. Let's save this. Okay, that looks good. And then category goes to category. And then create a date to create a date is just a one to one mapping. Okay, so it looks good. So let's go back to our code. Let's close this and go back to our code. And here you can see the function we just created. So internally, Ballerina is using query expression to do the data mapping. As I said earlier, query expression is a very interesting feature. So this is a this is one usage of that. I'm not going to go into details. So it is internally using um, query expression, and here you can see the gix function to split the uh, post item tags and then category and created data mapped one to one. Okay, so let's use this function. So let's change, it, change this, what we want is post with meta. So let's do this. So here I have post array O, an error, so let's just to check to get rid of the error. Okay, so it looks good. So let's start the service and see how it goes. Okay, the service is being started. Okay, it looks good. So let's send the request and see. Nice, so this time we get the new payload instead of the old one. And this one has a meta stack. 
data section we have tags as an array and then we have category and create a day okay so that's all i wanted to discuss for this session see you in the next one